I mean, okay. That that's what I'll take then. Let's get all of their money as well. Alright, there we go. Done with that. Let's go ahead and core stuff up. No guy. Wait, what the <laughs> We got nowhere to go. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the releasables challenge, the challenge where we play every nation U4 that does not exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're supposed to be back with Syria because that's who I rolled last time, but I just realized King of Kings is coming out in just a couple of days, so why play a vassal of a nation, the Mamluks, that's going to get updated, where we could make it more spicy and more fun by playing it after the update drops. So that's why today we're going to spin the Wheel of Pain once again and try and roll a nation uh, that's going to be a vassal of someone that's not getting updated in King of Kings. So without further ado, let's move on to the Wheel of Pain. All right, all right, here we are in the Wheel of Pain. Let's click the spin real quick and see who we're going to get. Hopefully, some of the guys that uh, aren't going to get updated. You know, I wouldn't mind playing Spoleto, maybe Dalmatia, someone like that. And the uh, next time we need to play Sibir. Oh. I should have just played Syria. Frick. All right, all right, here we are back in game, and Sibir is a nation that can be released from Nogai and Uzbek, only one province from Nogai granted, and of course, we're going to be releasing ourselves from Uzbek when a nation has cores and more than one uh, nation, we release it from the nation that has, uh, well, that we have the most cores on, and we should pop out right here in the north of Uzbek, I think we're going to get, like, their capital or something like that, I actually don't know where their capital is, but, uh, yeah, this region, man, super fun to play in, I've been excited to get back to this region for so long, and, uh, you know, I think the independence from Uzbek is going to be be decently easy we should be able to get a bunch of guys to support our independence but you know after we consolidate sort of this region right here where are we gonna go after that chagata and york and they're so annoying to fight the timberids probably aren't gonna blow up let's be real here so we won't be able to push into them and uh yeah sooner or later man we're gonna hit the roadblock of oirat and muscovy right here these provinces are super low dev so we are gonna have to conquer so so much in order to uh you know become a great power with colonialism embraced with someone with colonialism below us and make uh, Uzbek not exist. So, we haven't been here a while. We are going to play a releasable of a horde. We're not going to be a horde ourselves right at the start because that's how the game works. But uh, without further ado, let's jump in as Uzbek and then as Sibir. All right, all right, here we are as Uzbek. Let's right click on ourselves, go down here. There's Sibir, 11 provinces, play as the release subject, and uh, boom, there we are. We actually did not get uh, Chimgitura, which is Uzbek's capital, even though we do have a core on it. That's how the game works. These are the two cores that we have left. All right, let's go ahead and choose a government reform. We can be, uh, you know, not a horde. Let's just go with tribal despotism simply for the CCR. We can go ahead and uh, enforce religious unity. We start off as Sunni. These are Sunni and Tengri provinces. And uh, yeah, right now we have 64 dev. All right, let's attempt to get Nogai, Chagatai, and Oirat to support our independence. Wait five years and then we'll see uh, what's up. Let's go ahead and do the estate setup. We have four estates which is, uh, you know, pretty good compared to the whores, let's say. All right, all right, uh, estate stuff done. I messed up. I shouldn't have gotten indebted to the merchant guilds. Of course, it says we're at max loans. We're, we're not at max loans. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start uh, ticking the game. Force limit right now is uh, six, so I will start building up my uh, army immediately. There we go. Uh, what do we do with the merchants, man? This this setup is, like, actually horrible. Where's Oirat's capital? I guess it's in Yumen. We can't collect there. We can't. Yeah, let's wait for the month. Funnily enough, we're making decent income here. <laughs> yeah, we can easily get Chagatai, Nogai too, and maybe the Timuris if they don't get wrapped up with their vassals, man. Oirat dislikes me, but maybe I can flip them friendly. Let's actually take a look at Sibir missions, which are the generic uh, these horde missions and ideas are generic horde ideas, which of course you guys know by now, uh, they are pretty good. Pretty good generic horde ideas. Uh, really strong, actually. Can we form someone? Just the Mongols, okay. Meanwhile, Uzbek has allied Kazan and the Great Horde, which is um, not that good. Kazan and the Great Horde are pretty strong. I will need like three guys to support my independence for this. Yeah, I'm trying to beat up some pretenders now because my ruler is like a five-shot guy. Oh, and look at this estate agenda general I just got. Dude, this is insane. Well, uh, you know, time to uh, time has uh, ticked over the five-year truce. There we go, just got Chagatai, there's no guy. There's the Timurids. I wonder if I can get anyone else. I couldn't flip Oirat friendly. So me, Nogai, Chagatai, and the Timurids versus uh, who? who is Uzbek, Kazan, and the Greek Horde. We should be able to do this, man. Honestly, uh, Yarkand comes in too. Yarkand is pretty strong. The Timurid vassals, 
Uh, all of them are disloyal, unfortunately, but yeah, we should be able to do this. Oh no, we don't even have feudalism. Ugh. Whatever, I think we can go ahead and declare Uzbek. There we go. There's the boys. There are these boys. Ooh, we outnumber them by quite a lot, but, but of course, uh, that's what the Timurid vassals. So we're about evenly matched, I'd say. We're probably a little stronger, but there's independence. Uh, let's run away and not fight these guys in flat terrain. Let's meet up with Chagatai. Yeah, nice. Nice. Uh, I'm an idiot, man. Look at this uh, Timurid war. They're only fighting Khorasan. I'm an idiot. I should have accepted that. That's what I get for not reading. Yeah, war's going okay. I don't have a lot of occupation myself. I forgot to set provinces of interest. But uh, I'll try and possibly peace out for the gold mine in Bashkir as well. Tier 2 government form, martial society, of course. Let's go ahead and uh, lower this a bit and uh, stab up once. And I think these guys are starting their comeback, man. So I'm going to peace out. Yeah, let's go ahead and get uh, independence, and then I'll take everything that I've occupied, which is uh, this. Then I'll take the gold mine in Bashkir as well. Actually, I have some more occupations over here on a couple of these provinces. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay, that's the peace deal. Uh, Chagatai and, well, everyone will be mad, but frick it. Okay, not really satisfied with the independence war, but I think we can work with this. Yeah, everyone's breaking their alliance with me, but after uh, royal marrying Oirat, I can now... Wait, 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 wait. I was about to say I can now ally them, but Ming is probably gonna fight them, right? I guess I can just decline. You know, I wonder, Kazakh has like so many cores. They will pop out of three of our provinces, which uh, I think I am done coring. Actually, I'm not done coring them yet, so yeah, we're not a horde, man. We could definitely use the reconquest right here, so I am gonna, you know, stop coring these. I wonder if we get the admin points back. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's do that, and uh, let's go ahead and release uh, Kazan. Kazakh, actually. Sorry, Kazakh. Well, the coring is done. I'm not really devving for feudalism here. I'm gonna dev for the Renaissance, though. Let's just, uh, let's bump up the gold mine in the meantime. I do have lots of points. It is pretty expensive since it's like uh, mountains and stuff like that, but uh, I do think it's necessary. There we go. Sweet. All right, we're good on money now. Yeah, big mistake not uh, not supporting the Timurids earlier on, man. Uh, I'm gonna try and link with them again since I can royal marry them, but they really don't like me. And the Great Horde just straight up died, but whatever. I wonder if I can fix my relations with these guys. Oof. I doubt it. That's so low trust. I maxed out relations with the Timurids. I can't link with them. I think a lot of time needs to pass. See, it has increased a little bit, but yeah, I just hope I can re-ally them, man. They're really good this campaign. I regret. I regret not helping them. Yeah, but right now we're pretty much stuck on who we can fight. It's just Kazan, Noga, and Uzbek are the options. Noga is uh, doing something, but the Timurids are their ally. I think I gotta wait for this truce so me and Oirat can fight Uzbek Kazan and my ally, the Great Horde. Or actually, this is uh, the better way. Oh, I embraced feudalism after divvying this province up a little bit, but uh, I still can't freaking spawn the Renaissance anywhere because uh, feudalism hasn't spread everywhere. And these are pretty expensive. I gotta wait for it to spread to these grasslands. Might as well take combat and terrain of capital since we're fighting these hordes anyway, right? Tier 3 cover form time. Let's go with... Uh, well, I don't really need the religious unity. It's already at 100. Every non-Muslim province gets... Um, you know, I got the Demi autonomy, so might as well go with this other one, land maintenance. All right, feudalism has spread to this province to ohm so let's uh let's dev the renaissance here bro oh my god this is like <sighs> right should have clicked this too ah looks like muscovy declared on kazan foils my uh plans a little bit but i guess we can fight uzbek then yeah reconquest or whatever and there's the renaissance as well uh all right, finally, Renaissance Embraced, uh, first idea group time. Let's go with something Horde-ish, but we're not even a Horde, dude. That, that's what I keep forgetting. Maybe we should flip to a Horde later on, right at the end? No, that's an advanced tribe. That's the Horde right there. Yeah, we'll do it. Why not? I think it'll be fun. So either way, a mill idea group, something that's going to help the horses later on. Manpower, Kiaf, Combat. Yeah, sure. Let's go Aristo, man. Let's go Aristo. Either way, uh, truce with Uzbek is done, Kazan won't even join, so let's do a little reconquest for Aksari right there, which is my boy Kazakh's core. We'll call in Oirat as well to help out. Bro, we're done here and we didn't even need to call in Oirat, if I'm being honest. So uh, yeah, let's just give everything that we can back to Kazakh in this war. I don't, I doubt it'll be uh, everything, but um, yeah, there we go. We're gonna leave these guys in like uh, two provinces down there. Uh, yeah, or actually, yeah, I can't take that, yeah. Okay, let's do something like this then. Sweet! I was gonna take this and release Transoxiana from it, actually. Since, uh, you know, they got so many cores on these Timurid provinces and uh, still can't ally these boys. So, we'll see what we'll do, though. Nogai or Kazan are next. Kazan, if they survive, Nogai, if uh, I can make the Timurids not join. 
Or Chagatai? Nope, don't murder Kazan. Oh well. Uh, let's move on immediately. Noga isn't willing to help Chagatai and Oirat is willing to help me. So let's do even more reconquests for, um, for one of Kazakh's cores, Almaty. This war is done and a big shout out to Oirat for helping out. They have occupied about half of these guys, but it's no big deal. So let's give this back to Kazan and then, uh, Kazakh, sorry. And then I gotta, oh, I can't actually take stuff from Yarkin, huh? Damn, that's all I can take? That sucks, bruh. Uh, I mean, okay. That, that's what I'll take then. Let's get all of their money as well. All right, there we go. Done with that. Let's go ahead and pour stuff up. No guy. Wait, what the? <laughs> we got nowhere to go. Actually, Admin 7, since I haven't been doing that much conquering myself. Second idea group time. Influence, maybe? How many vassals are we going to play with? If I can pop out Transoxianum. <laughs> Not that much vassals, honestly. Maybe something for making money. Maybe something for chilling? Humanist? You know what? Humanist. Not my favorite idea group, definitely. Far from it, but uh, let's do it. You know, at least we're decent on dev, man. We're getting a lot more dev than I thought we would. I guess it helps out because we're not a horde and we're not raising anything, right? If we were raising, of course, we we would be stronger, but we would need to conquer more. So, yeah, you, the European guys are pretty strong, though. So I'm forecasting maybe even 500 dev to get up here. Uh, in the meantime, I can go ahead and activate the Emir's integration policy. And I think I'm going to go ahead and annex Kazakh. Huge loans now, too, actually. Just, uh, just got the freaking... What you call it? The burger loans. Let's let's build some buildings. Yeah, really locked in now, man. There's no one uh, that's easy for me to fight. Really, only Chagata and York. And for now, we might have to go this way. And the Timurids are fighting them now, so I have no idea how much they'll take. Yeah, really, the only way I see this going is actually me still trying to ally the Timurids. Trust is increasing very, very slowly. I don't know if I'll be able to ally them ever, but if I can link with these guys, I can pretty much beat anyone around me. We're at is just... They're pretty good, but I can't beat the Timurids. They wouldn't even help out. We're running through these pretty fast. Uh, leader Siege Artillery cost. That's actually pretty good. I mean, all of these will get nullified when we flip to a horde, right? So, I mean, do we actually want to flip to a horde? Maybe we can, like, stay a tribe. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if we've ever uh, done that. So in that case, let's go with uh, Subutai's strategies. Now, hold up. The Ottomans just asked me to share maps, which I uh, didn't click in time, so it went away, but... Hmm. I can coalition the Timurids. How much did they expand? Hmm. I'm actually not gonna coalition them, and I can still royal marry them again, even though my ruler just changed just now. This game has been so crazy with stab events, I keep getting them all the time. Uh, uh, there's an alliance with the Ottomans, though. Nice. Even though the royal marriage broke, I still allied them. See, now we're talking. Well, the Timurids rivaled me, so... <laughs> Might as well coalition them. Where is it? There we go. Might as well start my golden era now. Ah, just as I wanted to declare Muscovy, the Ottomans popped it off versus the Mamluks. Whatever, we'll wait for it, I guess. Now, do these two provinces touch? I don't think they do. In that case, I can't actually build a spine work on Chagatai. No, they're... I can't fight them. Maybe Kazakh is spying on them? Maybe I'll do this? Well, actually, we're pretty close to annexing Kazakh, so... Looks like Oirat had different plans. And there we go, Kazakh has been annexed. Sweet. Oh my god, Oirat, these... They didn't even give me the one province that I occupied and that I uh, had as a province of vital interest. Either way, let's finally declare on Muscovy, call in the Ottomans. This should be pretty easy, even though we will have to wait a little bit for the Ottomans to walk up here. But yeah, we can easily do this. I actually got like almost full occupied here, but we're doing good. I got Moscow and I didn't notice that we're like way over Govcap. The frick can't, can't seem to upgrade to a kingdom or whatever. Um... All right, big war, but it's finally done. Uh, we should be taking a lot of dev here, so let's go ahead and uh, peace out for maybe some stuff over here in this region. Let's do something like this. Maybe I really don't care about A or the admin points it takes or whatnot. So, yeah, the, the, this is almost as much as we can take. Let's do, let's do this. Sweet coalition. No. Nice. But yeah, I did get a lot of war exhaustion from that. I kept lowering it all throughout the war. But uh, let's go ahead and core that up and uh, see where we're at. We're actually at 413 dev. Hmm. If we embrace colonialism fairly quickly here, we'll uh, pop out above Castile. But it's just 8 dev. So yeah, we're definitely going to need one more war. About 500-ish dev is what I'm thinking. These guys are super mad. So I don't know if I'll be able to fight someone like the Timurids or Oirad. Maybe it could be enough versus no guy. But still, it's still these same guys. Maybe we'll have to wait to, to fight Muscovy again, actually. Wait, I am on the Great Powers list. Ah, but I'm number eight. Okay. 
Ming got uh, Unguarded Nomadic Frontier, I guess, because of where we're at. Good thing they didn't, uh, you know, tributary them, man. I was totally expecting them to do it. Dude, we were talking about, you know, becoming a horde or a monarch or staying a tribe earlier on, but uh, we're pretty close to actually completing this challenge, uh, and we still don't even have our Tier 5 government reform. I should be getting it pretty soon, but yeah, no way we're actually getting to one of the last ones. Now, it does say here that I'm losing my great... Ah, so Portugal has embraced colonialism, so has Castile and England, in fact. I'm at 413 dev. If I embrace it, the Mamluks will get knocked down, right? And I'll uh, end up above Portugal. And uh, with the deving too, I actually might even end up above Castile and England. So we don't really have the... I thought I was occupied, but that's just a great powers map. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, with Deving, I, I don't have the uh, the points to do it right now, but let's see, what is the cheapest province? Baraba. Let's try and find Baraba. There it is right there. Ooh, right next to Ohm in my capital. So, yeah, let's activate Encourage right here and uh, start spawning colonialism, I guess. Yeah, I guess I should also uh, expand infrastructure here. And you know what? Let's let's use up all the points, man. Okay, we will have to wait a while, but it is it is going pretty nicely. Sweet. And I'm already probably above, yeah, I'm, I'm above everyone. Honestly, not as difficult as I thought it'd be, man. The independence war was pretty easy, and even though I did anticipate that, I thought expanding after that would be a lot harder uh, due to alliances, which did turn out to be true, but I thought these provinces are, like, way less developed and stuff like that. Uh, I thought we'd have to conquer, like, this right here instead of just this, but looking pretty good, honestly. Yeah, there really isn't much to do, and yeah, aside from beat up separatists until we spawn uh, colonialism. You know, something else I noticed, all of these, like, right here open up the interfaces, except the estates. The estates thingies don't don't open up the interface here. And there's our tier 5 government reform, the final one, which doesn't really change too much. I'm just gonna go with uh, GovCap right here, simply because uh, we were lacking GovCap. And there's colonialism, it has appeared here. I think we're too big to embrace it immediately, though. Oh, no, actually, we're not. Let's see, no burger loans, but I can take out regular loans, even though it'll make us lose money and stuff like that. But uh, there's colonialism. And now that a month has ticked over, let's check the Great Powers list. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, number four on the Great Powers list with 444 dev. That's kind of funny, if you ask me. And we got like four nations with colonialism embraced below us. Castile, England, Portugal, Aragon. And with that, one of our goals is accomplished. And earlier, we also accomplished our previous goal of making our former overlord, in this case, Uzbek, not exist. Which means this challenge that I thought would be a lot more difficult uh, actually wasn't. And it was super fun. Uh, it's now a success. But yeah, there you go, man. Started off as Sibir in these provinces right here after releasing ourselves from Uzbek. Got a Nogai, uh, Chagatai, and uh, who? Oirat? No, the Timurids to support my independence. Unfortunately, broke that alliance with the Timurids when I refused their call to arms, which I should have accepted. But after that, it was kind of slow-ish expansion. These alliances were sort of weird over in this region. Fought Chagatai, fought Uzbek. Didn't get to fight Nogai, fought Kazan once. Didn't get to fight the Great Horde either. Stayed allied with Oirat. These are my uh, allies right now. But uh, luckily, Later on in the game, we did manage to ally the Ottomans, which helped us expand into Muscovy over here, and it helped us grow pretty big. Uh, like I said earlier, I thought we would have to conquer a lot more than this, but uh, actually that wasn't the case. We didn't have to conquer all that much with uh, 400 with a uh, 444 dev right now but yeah uh money situation was also good after we got the gold mine of course now we're losing money due to all the interest but uh of course that can be mended very very easily pretty strong and sizable army right here released kazakh reconquered their course from all of these guys down here pretty smooth sailing didn't build too many buildings of course our economy was never really that good to where we could snowball real hard but uh you know it was enough to enable us to expand be stable and grow a sizable army and uh end up looking like this overall a super fun campaign love playing in this region it just sucks that you know we don't get released as a horde when playing any of the horde releasables we just get released uh as a regular tribal nation or whatnot so yeah i wish we could get released as a horde unfortunately there are no hordes in releasables even though there are uh, all the other government types you know monarchies theocracies and uh, republics either way with all that said super super fun game and uh i'm definitely looking forward to playing over in this region some more it's definitely uh, not somewhere we get to explore too often but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as sibir in releasables has been a success. And that has been Sibir in Releasables. 
Now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're gonna play next time. All right, all right, here we are in the Wheel of Pain once again for the second time in this video. Let's uh, click the spin and see which nation we're gonna have to play next time. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind once again some of these guys that I've been begging for for so long, but next time, no, it's not gonna be any of those guys. And instead, we're gonna go back to Italy as the nation of Parma. Wait, why did I spin the wheel? Syria is next. Well, I guess we can do Parma if Syria doesn't work out, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what I should do as Syria next time to break free from the Mamluks, make them not exist, and become a great power, or Parma, if that doesn't work out. Same question, but for Parma. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot, and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today, and join the Discord, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.